Hey everyone, just wanted to say hello um, and thought you might like to just see a little bit of the process um, of how I go about doing my organisation and getting prepared for my next event. So it's the Stampers Day out for April. So today is the 4th of April. So today is actually the RSVP um, for uh, the event, although this video will be up later. But... Um, I have extended it a bit because we had lockdown last week. So it threw us through a bit of a loop of is it going to go ahead or not? Because we honestly thought we were going to be locked down for the next two weeks. So we thought the event was not going to go ahead. So um, it was a lot of panic on our part because we've already put a lot of work into this event. So I run the event with Kim, another demonstrator, and um, we've been planning it now for a month. Um, with a lot of details. Uh, so we were a little bit worried it wasn't going ahead. So we've still got a few more days for RCP, just letting people have those extra few days to uh, book in. But we still got to get our part done. So normally today, which it's one week out to the event, um, is RSVP because this is when we need to start getting everything ready. So uh, just to let you know, in the last couple of weeks, we have been in constant talks of what we're going to do with the, the six projects that we do. So there's a lot involved with working that out. Um, so it's not just a matter of creating some projects and everyone does them. There's a lot of things we need to think about. So um, we create half the events each, but we have a lot of talks about what we're going to do and make sure that everything is cohesive for the day. Um, and like, so we don't have like six flower projects on the day. We want to have a nice selection of different things to do. So it takes a lot of effort into working that out. We want to have different techniques. We want to have different products that we use. So there's a lot of thinking involved with that. So we have worked out our projects, um, that have all been finalized and I have spent the last couple of days, um, creating my final samples. So I've spent a long time creating some samples. Don't use all the ones that we come up with, but I've picked the three that I'm going to do. And uh, the, one of the processes that I do is I sit down and actually create the card from start to finish. And that does a couple of things. Um, one, that I've got a couple of samples for the day. Plus, secondly, I go through and I make sure that everything that I need to use for that card is sitting in a box. So I've got them right here. Now I can't show you the samples because that's something special for the people who come on the event. Okay, so, but this is a box. I'm gonna switch you around. Okay, so this is one of the boxes that I've got done up for the day. So this is one of the projects and this is everything that I used to create that card. So all the stamp sets, the inks, uh, we're using blends on this card. We're using some embossing for, uh, powder. So anything that we need is in this box ready to go. And then I won't miss anything on the day. Fingers crossed <laughs> that it's not missed on the day. Um, right, so I've done that. I've created my samples, created my boxes for everything that's involved. Um, and then I've also actually had to type up all the instructions as well. So when I go through and do that final sample card it's fresh in my mind all the steps that need to happen for that card as well so lots of things involved with all of that so I think one thing I forgot to mention is when we work out the final projects that we do sometimes things change and that's another reason why I do the final sample card in that uh, sometimes we need to change colors because we've used colors on a different card and we don't want all the same colors on cards or um, just different bits and pieces uh, we don't want to be using the same ink pads in lots of different projects. We just want um, everything in the one box to go with that card. So lots of things involved with getting those final samples done. So I hope everyone that comes on the day uh, to these events realizes how much effort goes into just creating those samples for you guys. So that's all done. I've done that the last couple of days. Um, so now I'm in readiness to create the kit. So normally today's the last day for RSVP, I would know numbers. So this time's a little bit different, so I'm going to have to make a few extra kits just in case someone um, books in the next couple of days, which is completely fine because I've I've um, um, put that RSVP out a few days, so that's fine. So the next thing that I've had to do, and I'll sweep you guys around again. 
So the next thing that I'm doing is grabbing out everything to create my kits. So this here is actually my son's part of my craft room. So this is where he comes and sits and creates, which is my, you might see some toys in the back here and some colored pencils and things, but that's where <laughs> he comes to create. And it's also where I use a bit of space when I need to start creating some kits. So the first thing that I do is I pull out everything that I'm going to need. So I've pulled out all of the um, coloured cardstock. It's actually not all of it. I've got to go through and get out a couple of more colours. So I've been pulling out all of the cardstock. So I need to start cutting that up. Um, so if you've been to my events before, you know that you get a kit with everything you need. So you'll get the base card, uh, pre-scored, and then any bits and pieces, any mats, um, any pieces of card that you need to use for die cutting, embossing, etc., for stamping, um, you'll get it all in the kit. So, so far I have pulled out the cardstock and I've pulled out some of the DSP that we will be using. Um, and I've got my trimmer here ready to go. So... There's still a few things I need to pull out. A few more coloured of cardstock. I need to pull out the envelopes. Um, and I need to get cracking on cutting all of this up. Um, I will need to print out my little label. So I get a little label, stick a label that says like project one. So we can stick the bags down. And I need to get out my bags as well. So a few jobs I've got left to do. So hopefully I'm going to get that done this afternoon or tomorrow. Um, and I will be back with more video after that. Hey again. All right, so now it's Monday and I've done a lot of cutting um, last night and a little bit this morning as well. Haven't cut everything up yet, um, but I am starting to put some of the kits together. Um, so I just thought I'd get some of the ones that I have ready out of the way before I finish doing all the cutting up. So, this is my little preparation table here. So I have cut up quite a bit of things and I've got out my envelopes, printed my labels, grabbed out my bags. So I'm currently putting together card number two. So basically they're getting a Bermuda Bay card base, a mat of Coastal Cabana, another mat of shimmery white cardstock, and then they also get one of our envelopes and a whisper white or basic white I should call it now basic white uh, card mat that goes on the inside of the card so I'll just put that in with the envelope here so that people don't get it confused with the shimmery white mat that we need for the card front so basically I put that into a bag and put a label on it and I end up with my little kits so it's just a little tedious uh, project here of going through and making up all the kits. Um, yeah, so that's how I'm going to be spending the rest of my day. This is project number two. I've got everything cut up for project number one. And I've just got to finish cutting everything for project number three. Uh, the other projects I have, I've got actually got rhinestones and sequins and things as well. So I need to go be doing cutting up things like that um, in putting them into packs as well. Right, so that's my job for today. Hopefully this has been a little bit of an insight on how I create my events. Um, and I've also got to go and do some boxes, decorate some boxes. That's for our little treats that we give everyone on the day. So, yeah. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little video. I know it's short um, and I don't know if it's been that informative. I don't know. In my head it's about um, just how I go about uh, creating everything so hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you have please leave a comment um, and um, if you want to come to the event um, on Sunday my God, it's only six days away now if you want to come to the event um, there's still spots I've created some extra kits I know that lockdowns has been crazy for all of us so if you'd like to come along to this one please let me know as soon as possible so I can get you on the list um, yeah okay guys bye